Hi, my name is Steve Hippen of CBC Bearings and Power Transmission. Today we're going to follow the procedure of installation for a tyre coupling. For this procedure, we need the following equipment. Firstly, we will need a taper lock, along with its hardware, the grub screws, and also a shaft key. We'll also require a set of Allen keys for installation of that taper lock. Secondly, we will need the hub, the tyre coupling hub, and also its backing plate, which will lock the element in place, along with the hardware screws required to, to attach that. We also require a torque wrench, along with a, an adapter, an Allen key adapter for that torque wrench, to get the correct settings on our taper locks, and also our backing flanges. Last but not least, we need a tyre, tyre element, which will connect both hubs together at the end of the installation. A vernier is also required to measure the specific gap required for the coupling hubs. Next, we will, do, we will install the hubs to the shaft, and then we'll show you further from there. Now that we have fitted both hubs to the shaft, we generally fit one side down nice and tightly, secured by the taper lock. The second one we fit relatively loosely to the shaft. This is to ensure that we achieve the correct gap between the coupling hubs. In this particular case, for this size coupling, we're looking at 25 millimetres between both coupling hubs. We did this by using a vernier and measuring that at 25 millimetre and with a slight bit of adjustment we've got that there at 25 millimetre. We now tighten down the second taper lock and hub. The instruction for installing and removal of taper lock can be found on a separate video. Next we will in install the backing plates which is used to lock the element in place. Now that we've got both hubs locked in position and the correct specified coupling gap set, we now take the backing plate, which will lock the tyre element in place, along with the screws to do so. We take that plate, insert the screw through the through hole in the hub, into the threaded hole on that flange, and we nip them up, finger tight only. In this particular coupling, being a relatively small one, there is only four screws required. Remembering finger tight only, because we need some room to actually get that bead of the tyre in between the backing plate and the coupling hub flange. Now that I've got that one in place, we'll do the second one, and we'll come back with the uh, instruction for the installing the tyre element. Now that we have the backing plates or internal clamping rings in place, the next part of the operation is to install the coupling element. Before we do that, it's always good practice to aid the laser aligning is to align our keyways. Try and keep our keyways in the same plane. We take the tyre we now open it up and we insert that into the hubs, ensuring the beads seat nice and firmly. This may need the assistance of a bit of a helping hand and or a small one. In there like that. Once we've got the tyre in there and we feel that it feels nice and seated within the hubs, we then proceed to tighten the internal clamping ring bolts on each, on either side of the coupling, ensuring that the there is a specified gap between the two coupling element ends. In this particular case, that needs to be set at two millimetres. Now that we've completed tightening our inner clamping ring bolts on both sides of the coupling, and ensuring we've achieved a two millimetre gap between the um, coupling element ends. We then use a torque wrench 
to ensure that the clamping ring bolts are torqued up to the specified amount, in this case 15 newton metres of torque. That completes our video regarding installation of a tyre coupling. Uh, for further information, please feel free to visit our website.